Talking to oneself is a habit everyone indulges in. We could no more stop talking to ourselves than we could stop eating and drinking. All that we can do is control the nature and the direction of our inner conversation. Most of us are totally unaware of the fact that our inner conversations are the causes of the circumstances of our life. We are told that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But do we know that man's thinking follows the tracks laid down in his own inner conversation? To turn the tracks to which he is tied, in the direction in which he wants to go, he must put off his former conversation and be renewed in the spirit of his mind. Speech is the image of mind. Therefore, to change his mind, he must first change his speech. By speech is meant those mental conversations we carry on with ourselves. The world is a magic circle of infinite possible mental transformation, for there are an infinite number of possible mental conversations. When man discovers the creative power of inner talking, he will realize his function and his mission in life. Then he can act to a purpose. Without such knowledge, he acts unconsciously. Everything is a manifestation of the mental conversations which go on in us without our being aware of them. But as civilized beings, we must become aware of them and act with a purpose. A man's mental conversations attracts his life. As long as there is no change in his inner talking, the personal history of the man remains the same. To attempt to change the world before we change our inner talking is the struggle against the very nature of things. Man can go round and round in the same circle of disappointments and misfortunes, not seeing them as caused by his own negative inner talking, but as caused by others. 